Ciao. It's ciao. Nah, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. So if you're a returning subscriber, you're probably a bit confused. I usually post covers and music on my channel, so this is a bit of a switch up. But beginning today, I'd like to introduce a big part of my life to you guys and I'd like to share my experiences and the things that I've learned. I've been bodybuilding pretty religiously for the past six years. I'm a certified personal trainer, strength and conditioning specialist, and corrective exercise specialist. So with that out of the way, I'd like to jump right into how I got from this to this, right? There's one tool, one weight loss method that I will vouch for anytime, and that is known as intermittent fasting. You guys might have heard of this before. It's pretty popular now and it's garnered a lot of credible research and there's a lot of evidence supporting the use of intermittent fasting for weight loss. I actually tried intermittent fasting last year and it proved to be pretty successful. I adopted that same method this year and it worked again. So just from my personal experience, it is definitely a great tool to use if you're having trouble with weight loss. I especially recommend intermittent fasting for people who have big appetites, right? People that love food. The reason being is that if you go about dieting or weight loss a conservative or standard way where you're eating small meals throughout the day, if you begin eating early in the morning, chances are, or at least from my personal experience, by the time it was in the evening, I would be done with my calories. And that would leave me really hungry at night. And that was just brutal for me. And I would eventually go on these binges because I was so hungry at night. And the weight loss just wasn't sustainable and I wasn't as successful. For those of you who don't know, intermittent fasting is exactly as the name implies. You fast for intermittent periods of time. So an example would be you fast for 15 hours of the day and then in a 9 hour period is when you would be eating your meals and consuming your calories. Personally what I do is I adopt an 18 hour fasting period and then I have a 6 hour eating period. And if you're new to this, it probably sounds crazy, right? 18 hours, no food, how do you... Oi, oi. And I'll admit, when you first start out, it is pretty difficult to get to that point. But as with anything in life, you have to slowly ease into it. So, I'll break it down for you guys. What I would suggest, if you are going to use this tool, you want to first start off with a less significant split. So an example would be 14 hours fasted, a 10 hour eating window. Keep in mind that the hours that are fasted include the hours that you sleep. So it's not as long as you might feel. There's a lot of people that think that if you eat the healthy foods, the clean foods like grilled chicken, broccoli, you're going to automatically lose weight because there's this inherent healthiness in this food. But I'm going to tell you that that's, I mean, partially true, but there's one simple rule. It's the golden rule of weight loss, and that is calories in, calories out. It doesn't matter really what you're eating, as long as you're eating less calories than your body requires during the day, you will eventually lose weight. So what I would suggest if you're just starting out is if you do have bad eating habits, if you love the junk food, if you're eating chips, you're eating cookies, you're eating pizza, you're eating all these things that are really high calorie, it will be difficult to just automatically make that switch, right? So what you want to do is, at first, ease into it. Keep those foods that you love in your diet, but begin tracking things. Make sure that your portions are on point. Start paying attention more to the calorie counts, right? A lot of the time, we're not as attentive as we should be when it comes to tracking calories. So if you start putting your focus towards the calories, you start becoming aware of how many calories you are actually consuming, what I would recommend is find your basal metabolic rate, right? Your BMR. Basically, that's how many calories you, your body requires just to stay alive, right? 
And there's a lot of calculators online that you can use to determine that. Once you find that, I would suggest dropping 500 calories, right? Subtracting 500 calories from your BMR, and then that would be your diet calories. The reason why 500 is such a great number to start off with is because um, 500 calorie deficit spread amongst a week, five times seven is 3,500 calories, which is conveniently the equivalent of one pound. Eventually, as you progress in the diet, as the weeks go by, you wanna start slowly subtracting the calories, right? You wanna start adding on to that deficit of 500 calories. So what I do is every two weeks, I would subtract another 200 calories. That way you ensure you're not plateauing and you continue to lose weight gradually. So I'll say it one more time. The golden rule of weight loss is calories in, calories out. So essentially you can eat whatever you want, just in moderation. You have to make sure that you're not going overboard. You can include all the foods that you love in your diet so long as you're within that calorie deficit that you have set up for yourself. Again, intermittent fasting is just one of the tools that you can use to help you on your weight loss journey. It's not the end all be all. It's not the ultimate method of losing weight. It's how I did it and I will vouch for it because it's how I've successfully lost, you know, 15, 20 pounds over a pretty short period uh, while successfully maintaining my muscle. All right, so the second tool that I recommend is cardio. As I said before, the main thing with weight loss is calories in versus calories out, right? The amount of calories you consume versus the calories that you burn during the day. While cardio is actually not completely necessary for weight loss, it is a really great tool that you can use to supplement it. And I understand that in the current situation that we're in, it might be hard to do cardio. There are no gyms, no cardio machines, nothing of that sort. Even going out for a walk might be a challenge depending on where you live. However, cardio is more important now than ever during the stay at home orders. The reason being is that when you're staying at home, you're just not doing as much activity as you would be if you were say, still going to work or still going to class. Right, think about your commute to work, how much you actually walk throughout the day. Um, going to class, going to and from class, Come there's a lot of walking there. It's just that comparatively, the amount of activity that you're most likely doing now is less than the amount of activity that you were doing before. So it's important to try to get at least even 30 minutes of activity each day. Whether that's a light walk around the neighborhood or I would even recommend if you can't do that because of your uh, living circumstances, you can try and look up short cardio routines on YouTube. There's hundreds of videos. The internet is your friend right now. There's so many resources, jumping jacks, burpees, high knees, those type of things, anything to get your heart rate elevated for an extended amount of time each day. Now I know that all this is way easier said than done. For many of you, you might be stuck at home with family whose goals don't align with yours at the moment, right? And it makes it difficult and the temptations are literally just everywhere, in your cabinets, in your closet, under the bed. My recommendation for that would be to keep yourself busy, find something to do. Read a book, do your homework, watch Netflix, things like that. And I will admit it's pretty hard to binge a series without binging on some good snacks, so. For many people, it is also really difficult to muster up the motivation to start working out at home. Here's one thing that I want to share to possibly motivate you during this time. You know those scenes in martial arts movies or in anime where the main protagonist will go off into the woods and train relentlessly, meditate under a waterfall, seek out isolation, and in that time focus entirely on improving your strength, speed, agility, just overall, this is your chance to develop self-discipline. With all these temptations around, if you can manage to still find a way to work out, to still find a way to resist those tempting foods, it'll be that much easier down the line when all this is over. I know that everyone has the capability to come out of this a better version of themselves. These two important tools that I shared with you guys today, um, you can take your first step towards that. All right, I hope you guys learned something useful from this video and hopefully you can apply it to your own life and begin seeing improvements. If you're at a point where 
you know, you're not happy with yourself and you want to make a change. If you guys like this type of video, let me know in the comments below and if you have any questions or want to see certain types of videos in the future, let me know. Thanks for checking me out. Peace.